Hey guys, and welcome to the Igloo today. Today we're going to be showing something that I wanted to really show you guys. It is the double layer stack for these actual uh, ceilings that you can actually do with the new frame system. Now with the frame system, you can actually triple stack, quadruple stack, hexduple stack, depending on how you do it. But I'm doing the simple way so that you can have at least two layers upon the roof and you guys can actually see that this is a very effective way to actually get everything done. So, you always had the problem with either building so massively high or you build so massively low or you just have to build so massive. Now, you can compartmentalize your design with using hatches as well as ceilings. So what you do is you put the ceiling down first and then you put the door inside. The door and the frame will be protected by the ceiling's area of effect. And that means the fire doesn't go through, um, orbs don't go through, but it just goes through that one layer. But as soon as that breaks, it goes straight to the door. So you have a multitude of levels of different corporations of the design, which makes it so crazy that anybody can do it. And it's very intuitive and very straightforward. It's almost like the devs wanted you to do this with the hatch design. But I know most likely that this might be something that could get patched out because it's most likely going to be considered an exploit. With that, you can't put any kind of benches on top of it then. But you can do it on the sides, like right here and right here, especially for chests and small chests. That can be done, but any kind of big benches and it won't work at all whatsoever. So again, if you are not trying to like make production area stuff, I would highly recommend doing that. Here's also another design that I was working on so that you can climb up, but raiders can't climb up, is that you have to have ceilings being surrounded by fences before you have a door and the hatch is facing the way that you want to climb up because you are facing the way that you want to climb up it covers the the fences that you actually want to like go up from and you can actually go to the top of your roof with not taking any climb damage because of the fences and it makes it so easy for climbing in every single regard and it's very intuitive and there's also the hatch trick where it shoots you straight up as well but that will be covered in another video because i haven't perfected that one yet but the most important one that i wanted to show you guys is the one of the frame exploit this is one that the devs need to fix now because it can break servers. I have a Threadripper 1900X and a 1080 Ti graphics card. And my frames get so tanked to the point that it's unplayable. All you do is simply mass click frames upon frames upon frames. And it's so dirty that I would not recommend anybody do this. So it would be one of the most craziest exploits tactics and this is just about to blow while I'm going to be going straight back and forth through everything and it crashes my 1900X with my 1080 Ti and I can't play. I'm stuck at zero frames and I was stuck at zero frames for almost several minutes and I would have to relaunch the game and it would crash the game so it would stop any raid whatsoever. But it would only do it when the frame location breaks. And that's the thing out of all of it. As you can see from my 20 to 30 frames ultra settings, wherever I look anywhere else besides that one foundation, I'm getting like 80 to 90 frames. But the minute I look at that one frame foundation, I'm getting like 24 to 19 frames on my side. I can only imagine what is happening on the server side where it's just eating shit the whole time now as soon as this happens it just pops and you're gonna see it at the very end please like comments and just tell me what you guys think about these kind of uh, hatch tricks that you can actually see there's so many more hatch tricks but I just could not put enough into a video 
so I could actually have everything done because it's very extensive and I'd rather be it be a guide and there will be a part two most likely within like three to four days. So have a good one guys.